Hey everybody, welcome back to CVO Crypto. And uh, I'm gonna be taking a look here at Bitcoin. Uh, now that we've come into a pretty major target um, that I've been outlining for so some time at this point, right? Did I know this target was gonna get hit? No, right? It's been one of those things where, you know, as much as everybody around us wants to, and I've probably done this at times, as much as everybody likes to, you know, say, I called this, I called that, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, at the end of the day, a lot of it's hindsight, right? Uh, for this, for me, this was actually an actionable trade uh, that I took uh, many uh, positions on. Unfortunately, um, 71,400 was my main short area that I took back on Bing X a few uh, back in May. And since then, there's been a shift with KYC and all this. So that position ended up getting closed. Uh, and then I took a couple more along the way. But, you know, a certain target uh, or certain targets led me uh, to at least have the notion or the uh, maybe considered an edge, right? Where it's like, you know, for anyone else that's just looking at this as ranging, you know, areas on Bitcoin, I wanted to be able to identify potential patterns uh, at play and, uh, you know, kind of be at least on on some sort of side of that. So here's the Bitcoin price. You know, as many of us know, it's been in essentially that huge range ever since the you know all time high, the new all time high set in place back in March, seventy four thousand dollars. You've had all these moves here, which I have been covering uh, essentially all these moves um, live time. Right. I'm not predicting them by any means, but being prepared for them, waiting for key levels to be met uh, and then, you know, executing on them myself and obviously giving that information to the members of the leading crypto discord uh, where I put up all my analysis, all my trade setups, um, constant updates, 24 seven. And all of this, you know, if you can't make any sense of it, aside from whatever the current news is, uh, you know, I recommend that you maybe check that out. Right. Seven days free. Uh, I don't use any news uh, to essentially, you know, create my analysis uh, and I execute off of just straight technicals. Right. So uh, let's just jump on into this. Right. I know that the news recently has been I don't even know if it's scary or not, but whatever is going on with Germany and Mount Gox and whatever, whatever that is at the moment. Right. Mind you, we've had several things, you know, going on back and forth here uh, when in reality, you know, these were all very decent, you know, simple technical moves, right? So obviously you had your high, need to see, you know, a range started getting put in place. Uh, you know, you came down, we had, you know, to start this off, essentially, we had a nice month of March, right? Put in a range. We started off April right here, hit the high, rotated said range, rotated it back to the upside, right? Once again, um, maneuvered this market pretty actively while during. Uh, we had the dump down to 61,300 area, which was our high time frame average of price. Uh, for the second quarter. So this is the average of price from the first quarter, likely to be met in the second quarter, which we did, ran back up, ran it back to $67,000, which at the time was the point of control of the range, right, that we were putting in place at that time, came back up, hit the point of control, dumped it out once more, right? So now we're coming in, we're closing out the month of May, I'm sorry, the month of April, you now have all these lows put in place, right? So you now have got March is a March is low, April's low. We start off May, literally first day, <laughs> come down, take those lows, break the range, get everyone, you know, stopped out of their positions. If anyone was getting in at these levels, uh, you got new short positions coming into the market only to only to then come back up, reclaim that March and April low, right? Uh, and then from there, what do we do? We shifted through. We had a we had at the time a new untapped monthly level of resistance up here at 71,400. We also had our new April range, right, which is similar to the March range, which got rotated several times. We had this range to work off of as well. Reclaim the March and April low back into the range here. Rotation of the range and then met our target at 71,400. Now, 71,400 was very interesting to me because I was looking for, like I said, a potential uh, reversal pattern here as we came into it. And that reversal pattern is this, right? So this is known as a bearish shark major reversal pattern, right? It's got very specific targets along the way. Uh, we had, you know, a couple, you know, and this is one of those things where, yes, in hindsight now, okay, great. This is, you know, seems like it was, uh, you know, cut and dry, awesome, you know, easy, short, all this and all that, right? Well, it wasn't, right? This is something that I actively managed, you know, live time. Uh, I actually was giving alerts for this in a separate service that I no longer do anymore. Um, and giving short alerts, right, at 71,400. Mind you, this was the middle of May, right? And 
think about how incredibly bullish the sentiment around us was, right? We're getting, you know, ETF this, ETF that, uh, Ethereum's getting ETFs. Uh, all, all the all of the news at that time was extremely high. You know, we're obviously above the previous 69K all-time high. This was a hard, you know, thing to kind of try to go against the grain on, but that's generally what you want to be looking for, right? So for me, for me, I alerted the leading crypto discord. Uh, like I said, at the time I had alerts that I no longer uh, am working with anymore. But for this, it was very interesting to note, right? And in mind you, this was on the 20th of May. All right. We have since then slowly came down. And our first major target of this was the 0.5 Fibonacci. All right. So and all I'm pulling from this, by the way, is a simple Fibonacci retracement from low to high. Obviously, once this pattern is you know identified uh, and we've got some simple targets here. Note that I don't have the gold pocket on here. All right. So this is a pattern that generally uh, when we see if we lose the 0.5, you, you run straight through the gold pocket right to the 886, all right? And that was, once again, something that I was very well aware of, um, you know, alerting everyone in the leading crypto Discord server along the way. Probably posted something about it on Twitter as well. And, you know, I want to touch on really quickly that I know I talk a lot about Bitcoin, Ethereum, and most people could care less, right? They're, they're holding all the altcoins that are down 70, 60, 50%, way, way lower, right? It's important to understand or at least be able to anticipate the you know, where Bitcoin could or, you know, not even should, right? I'm not, I'm not predicting this, but when I look at this, I'm like, okay, you know what? That is got a high probability of getting this move down, which at the time was 20% and would be deemed foolish at the moment, right? To state that, okay, we're going to go back to almost 50 K. I mean, we breached down to 53, which is, you know, incredible. Um, while we're sitting at 70, right? You're above all everything, right? The range breaking up, you're at the highs, blah, blah, blah. And once again, now that we've hit those targets, yeah, it's easy for me to look at this and say, all right, great. You know, this shark pattern was in play. These were the targets. They've, you know, essentially all been met at this point. You know, look for something from here. But along the way, like I said, this was, you know, a pretty, not a tough thing to note, but it, it took time, right? This took a lot of time to unwind. This is, you know, six weeks just about um, after such a huge move like this, right? So, you know, we came down to the 0.5 and at that point you had a chance, right? We had a little opportunity to, if we did get the, a bounce from here, this may have came up and taken the highs, right? Um, however, and I did take that long, I won't lie, right? I took a long right off the 0.5 with a super tight stop loss. Reason being, you couldn't look to short there, right? Like it's just, it's, you're, you're shorting support at that point. Um, but I knew that if we flipped that 0.5, and this is on daily time frame by the way, so if you go down a lower time frame, obviously you had plenty of hours to note it. Uh, I knew if we lost 0.5, it was straight to the 886, right? There's no, you know, there's no reason to hold that long at that point. Um, ended up actually catching the short around this region down to the 886, take profit, right? Uh, we got the bounce once again, back up. Uh, last week in the leading crypto discord, the game plan was literally this, literally this, right? Posted on 7-1, right? So last Monday, uh, started off the week, we were trading right up into that $64,000 area, just about 63.8, give or take. And this was the game plan at play, right? Ended up getting that move. And here we are. All right. So uh, a long winded little explanation or you know at least to some degree i hope it's an explanation right um i, I know that many are gonna a, a, you know company news with this and i you know i'm not ignorant to the fact that news will be <laughs> timed accordingly um but just like i said for me i no news was needed in the creating of this so last week was obviously a week where you know at least for myself i was identifying a potential pullback in bitcoin so once again leading into um the market as a whole, if Bitcoin is going to be pulling back or if that's, you know, where at least I'm anticipating it, not that I mean anything, but just for myself as my trading strategy for the week, I was anticipating downside across the board. Right. So uh, there we are. Here we are. Hit a major target. And what is to come next, in my opinion, before we get into what I'm looking for next on Bitcoin, just a quick Thank you to today's video sponsor, iTrust Capital. All right, so iTrust Capital, one of the most trusted companies out there in the space, right? This is actually a place where you can buy, sell crypto, gold, silver, uh, all with your IRA. Uh, and it's not just Bitcoin, right? Uh, and, and Ethereum even. They have several uh, options at this point. They're adding new pairs uh, daily, honestly. So it's a pretty interesting concept. Uh, you can set up a new IRA through them uh, as well as transfer uh, existing ones. Simple three-step process will get you set up uh, and trading basically 
specifically today. So uh, if you're interested in investing with your IRA uh, via iTrust Capital, be sure to check out the link in my description, uh, as well as my link tree. You'll have a link straight to them there or just find them at itrustcapital.com. Okay, so what is next? Let's take this off. So a lot of people are targeting uh, 51, 52, 50K, right? 50 to 52K, let's just say. Uh, while that is definitely a major area, the next area, however you want to view it, right? That uh, would be of, would make sense for us to get a bounce. Uh, personally, I'm not interested in 50K, uh, 52 even, you know, as far as like a long-term play. I'll uh, probably be playing a bounce area off that, um, taking profit along it, you know, for any shorts. But for me, I'm, I'm really not interested in any kind of like a mid to long term play, meaning like if I'm looking for entry on even Bitcoin or altcoins. Right. So when Bitcoin comes into key regions, obviously, that's when we can look at the altcoins as well, identify key areas for them uh, and look for those you know next mid to long term plays. And in crypto at the moment, to me, that means six to six months to a year. Right. Maybe even three months. Um, but a longer term, a midterm play. Right. So uh, that is the area or this area here is not really much to me. Now I will add on the reasoning um, why I would say like, yes, definitely it's gonna be a bounce. Not only was this the last area of consolidation, uh, there's a February naked point of control there, right? And then it's also, if you were to zoom all the way out here, take a fib retracement from the 15K low to the overall high, turn on the 382, it's also our macro 382 fib retracement, right? So this is an area to be aware of. And yes, if you get, you know, a significant bounce off here, you could see continuation generally after a really strong trend. We do see that. Um, so to be fair, I will point that out. But for me, I just I don't uh, look to this area as the uh, end all be all for that next move up, uh, at least at the moment. Right. And once again, I'm always available um, and willing and adapt uh, I'm always willing to adapt to new price action, new data, right, as it comes in. But at the moment, one of the biggest things that I'm focusing on is not that and not the February naked point of control. Honestly, not even necessarily that shark pattern. Granted, that was a really good, you know, outlook to have uh, while it was being created with specific targets that obviously played out really well. So to the point where on 4th of July, while many were potentially uh, panicking, I wasn't worried, right? Um I was well aware and and preparing and prepared for that level to come. Um, and honestly, I do think we had lower uh, over over the, the course here. Right. So uh, a bounce to the upside, however, is uh, what I do foresee uh, possible at the moment. But I do want to showcase, you know, what I'm targeting and why and just making this as simple as possible right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the quarter one range from this year. All right. And this is the, you know, the area where we just basically skyrocketed through. We've spent a little time kind of coming in, bobbing and weaving around here once again, creating that uh, basically a reversal topping pattern, that that bearish shark. Uh, and, you know, while there is the next high volume node coming in right at that 50K area, I, like I said, I'm not overlooking the idea that we get a bounce from there at some to some degree. But everyone is targeting that. And that's one thing I just do want to point out. Everyone is targeting 52K. So something to be aware of. Um, but for me, the target that I've remained uh, looking for, right, once again, I'm not predicting that this is going to happen, but this is what I've been prepared for, is the quarter one naked point of control, $43,000. All right, it's also a yearly open uh, in that region as well, uh, along with a couple of other things. But that for me, and the reason being is that simple as this, right, we're back in an old range. What are we doing? We're in a range. We seek out the point of control. In this case, it's a naked point of control. Uh, so that's a high volume target, right? It's simple as that. Uh, that is the next area for me, down at about 43K. All right. And overall, that would be about a 43% pullback in Bitcoin. All right. And maybe that wouldn't be all we get. Uh, realistically, there's targets, you know, that are, make a lot of sense at 35K as well. But for now, you know, I'm looking, I'm looking to see the reaction at 43K. But uh, being able to identify that at $71,000 was the key. Where we are now, it's a little tough, right? This is not too much of a, you know, a jaunt from where we are now, 23%. And the problem with that is that it's the altcoins that are just destroying everybody, right? So, and at this level, like most people, they can't sell, they, they've been holding, right? They're already down 40, 50, 60%. You know, how much lower could it go if I sell now? And like, once again, I'm not telling anybody what to do. I'm just pointing out the data that I'm aware of and that I'm going to be utilizing in my system, my strategy. And that points to Bitcoin going to 30 35 to $43,000, right? Potentially this summer. 
Now, I'm not saying that that, you know, we just continue from there and go back down, uh, you know, the all time lows. Realistically, that would be a pretty healthy pullback, in my opinion, that would catapult us or could. I don't want to say would and like be married to this idea, but that could be the area that we see. You know, realistically, like I said, that 35 to 43, uh, we get the next move up. Right. Simple as that. Right. Like this this huge move up was so, you know, straight up. Um, and then you had all this time at the high, very similar to this, right? What happens up there? Everybody just be back and forth, back and forth, you know, constantly getting involved in, you know, you know, waiting for a pullback, thinking that that's it. But, you know, they buy the dip. It keeps on dipping kind of deal. But what happens up here is that everyone that's been buying, and when I say everyone, I mean the big boys, because the average person probably doesn't ever sell <laughs> in crypto. You know, it's what we've all kind of been accustomed with at this point, right? Um, at some point, you know, many will learn that that's that's not the best plan uh, unless you're preparing to hold for you know ten years. But uh, yeah, so you had a distribution phase up here, essentially, potentially still going on, um, and this is the next target for me down about forty three k. So I hope that makes sense. Very simple in an old range, seeking out the point of control, potentially rotating that range down about thirty eight k, and then from there we have the untapped yearly average for this year, which is a yearly target. Uh, and that is uh, 35,000, give or take. All right, short term plays, right? What would I, how would I view this market right now? Well, this morning I put up, so once again, in the leading crypto Discord server, had a strategy for something like this, right? That's kind of a little outlook for potentially for the day, maybe into the week. Um, Obviously, things can change here, but you know, at the moment we woke up and it was fifty, you know, seven ish k Bitcoin this morning, uh, and I was looking for a pullback to weekly open, uh, daily VWAP, uh, as well as a local gold pocket at that area as well, uh, and then from there looking for a potential move up to like sixty three to sixty four k, right? So like that's that's the long idea at the moment. And uh, we'll kind of see how thing, things kind of worked out there. And once again, this is in the leading crypto discord server. Uh, do have limited seats available for the current OG uh, price tier, right? So it's only $35 a month. You do get to try it absolutely free for seven days and you get free full access to everything I offer. All my uh, trade setups, all my analysis, uh, exclusive member only videos, uh, a included CVO Crypto Academy where I go over all the educational content covering all the tools, indicators, settings, all the resources I utilize every single day uh, to create the ranges and kind of build context around some of the trading strategies, all that included uh, with the altcoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know, all the analysis and everything that kind of gets packaged up into that. So if you're interested, check that out. Yeah, at the moment, this is essentially what I'm looking for, right? We did get that move down. Like I said, we were trading up in this region at the time of that. Uh, when we got up this morning, I was looking for just a simple gold pocket pullback uh, into the weekly open and the VWAP at the time. We did since then get that. Uh, will it hold is the question, right? We didn't get super uh, an amazing reaction off that. So there's still potential now to come back down and uh, take the previous week low here and that would be uh, honestly my next uh, major uh, you know kind of long entry idea at the moment uh, to see how things go if we come down to that area but aside from that looking for a move back uh, towards at least this uh, $63,000 region right and then you know looking towards uh, potentially these highs and uh, that would be the next area I'd look for uh, for the potential short uh, maybe the short that takes it down to you know into the 50s and 40s right uh, but that is you know where I'd be looking if I did not have a short at the moment uh, that would be the ideal area. I would not come in right now and short 56K, even though, yes, you know, we could roll over from here, absolutely go down. Um, but like I said, the the crowded trade right now is the, the downside, uh, which granted, I do think we are going to have. Uh, but anyone that's, you know, in late shorts, right, like is usually what it's called right now. Nobody that's shorting from 71,400 or whatever the case is, even 69, 70K. Uh, everyone pretty much piled in probably around the time we broke 58, right? That this one right here. So if I had to guess, uh, a lot of people got in with a short, you know, stop loss basically right there. Uh, so that is one thing to look out for is that, you know, a little sweep of that region here, and maybe you get that pullback all the way down to the previous week low. Uh, otherwise, it's here for me, right? So uh, anyone that got into a late short here with a stop loss all the way up here, which seems crazy, right? That's a pretty big move, 10%, uh, but that would knock uh, anyone out of those late shorts out, especially uh, among others, right? So uh, potentially we hit that region. For me, I'm long right now at the weekly open, all right, around this $50,400, $55,400 area. Uh, I'm looking to run this up to that untapped daily weekly negative point of control right here, about 62,800. 
uh, even though that may not be the overall move we get. I'm happy to take profits pretty much fully uh, at a 12% move if we get that. Uh, and then otherwise, I'm looking to short up in this region right here, right? Take these highs. Uh, we've got some you know, monthly and quarterly averages up here as well. Uh, and then look for essentially the short that might take us down. Uh, so that is basically what I'm looking for out of Bitcoin in the near term here. All right, that is all I've got for you folks today. Hope you enjoyed this update. I'll be sure to come at you again with another one pretty soon. Uh, and until then, everybody, and I'll see you all in the next video.